Hi guys, I'm back. I know it's been like two months, I think, since my last video. A lot of things have changed. I think in my last video, um, I was talking about how we were at Josh's dad's house. Josh is my boyfriend, for those of you who don't know. Um, and since like all the pandemic stuff that's been happening, we kind of like moved here temporarily. So that's why like everything looks different. You can probably hear a plane right now. <laughs> I have the window open because it's very hot, but I just did a test with the fan on and the fan is very loud on camera. So I turned that off, but anyway, what am I saying? Yeah, so that's why like everything's different. I'm in a new space. Um, I wish I had a better background, but this is how it looks for now. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna put some makeup on. Um, I did buy makeup during this, like, pandemic, even though I haven't worn makeup, like, at all. I've worn, like, mascara and maybe concealer and, like, lip balm. <laughs> But I still bought things and um, there's a lot of products that I'm excited about and maybe you guys are too and you might want to know how they work out. I think that was thunder. There might be a thunderstorm. I tried, like, 2020 has not been a good year, obviously, for many reasons and I've been trying to find, like, like I've been wanting to film videos, but I couldn't find like, first of all, I didn't have a lot of motivation. Um, and it seemed like every time I felt like I was ready, like something would happen that made me feel like filming a video was not like a good thing to put out on the internet. So, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just want to, uh, put some makeup on and I hope you guys want to see it. So first What am I doing? I feel rusty. Well, I have a new lip balm that I'm excited about It's the Pat McGrath lip balm. I actually got it in a Sephora favorites kit Which was like a pretty good deal. I thought it was this Give me more lip kit or no give me some that was totally wrong. It's called the Give Me Some Balm Lip Kit. Um, and it's just a kit of lip balms, as the name suggests. And I've wanted to try like all of these. The only one, well, the two that I already knew I liked and that they're good products is the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm. I actually gave it away because I already have like two of them. And the Tarte, um, Quench, uh, what is it called? Like something quench, anyway, you can see it here. I already have another shade in this that I actually almost used up completely, so I know that I like these. And the two that I was most excited about is the Jouer Lip Enhancer. I haven't tried it yet, but I heard really good things. And the Pat McGrath, and this is a full size lip balm, and I want to say that like this whole kit is like cheaper than just this. Don't quote me on that. I'll update down below because I don't know off the top of my head. But this is very expensive this is where I'm getting it. So it was good to find it in a kit. And I actually used it already. And I really like it. Because sometimes it's just a clear lip balm. So I mean. No one really needs to get a Pat McGrath clear lip balm, but I just really like the packaging. Um, and it actually is a good product. I wore it yesterday, like all day, and it's not one of those balms that leaves like a really thick um, like film on the lips. It feels like it's actually like penetrating and hydrating, so I really like that. But anyway. Um, yeah, I'm starting with like completely nothing on because I do also have some like skincare slash primer products. So, um, oh yeah, and like all these products I got 
from the Sephora VIB sale, so that's how long ago. <laughs> and it took like almost a month to receive the product because of the post office. Um, and yeah, so the Sephora VIB sale, Boxy Charm, uh, Boxy Pop Up, and yeah, I think that's it actually. So these two products I got both in BoxyCharm. One is the Professional, but this is the hydrating version. So it's the new one because the Professional is like a very popular product from Benefit. I actually have like a small one of it that I used to put on my nose because I have very dry skin as you all probably know by now. So when I got the hydrating version, I was really excited because there was like another variation of the box. Oh my god. <laughs> the power might go out any second now. That was thunder. Anyway. Um, yeah, so there's another, there was another variation of the box where you get like the original version and I was like, I hope I get the hydrating one. And I did, so um, that's exciting. So this is a hydrating face primer to minimize the look of pores. Uh, but I also got this in my last Boxy Lux. I just received it, actually. It, everything is very delayed with the post office. Only with Canada Post for some reason. Like everything else, like Amazon, um, other companies that I order from, everything comes like really quickly but anyway this is the nor nor the no pore limb prime essence by touch and soul i could have sworn like boxy charm already gave us this product at some point because i think my mom has this and she would have got it in a boxy charm but maybe it's something different so this it's called a prime essence so I'm not sure what it is. Is it a primer or is it an essence? It says it's Calendula officinalis flower extract. It looks like this. It has like a kind of dropper type thing. And it seems to be very liquidy. I don't know what this does. Calendula officinalis flower extract tightens up the pores and keeps the skin silky and smooth for better and long lasting makeup. Okay, so it's a it's a primer. Um, yeah, so it's just called a prime essence, I guess because of the texture, it's more like liquidy, you can hear it actually. So I think I actually want to try this today because my skin is pretty hydrated already. I did all my skincare last night and it feels like really nice actually so maybe i'll do an updated skincare routine soon but let's see how this goes um i don't know what like oh like see it's like extremely liquidy so i don't know how much to use oh okay it smells like the other um products from Touch and Soul. I actually had the other primer from them, the No Problem, like the regular one, and the scent was so strong that I gave it to my mom. This one, it still has that smell, but not as much, I feel. Yeah, it does feel like a bit silicone-y, so I can see how they say like it's for pores and everything. It's not sticky or anything. It kind of like just absorbed right into the skin. I also got this product in my Boxy Lux. I'm really excited about it actually. Uh, can you see anything? It's by the brand Tula, which I've been wanting to try. A lot of people talk about it. I think um, in the US you can get it at Ulta. In Canada, I have no idea. <laughs> because I haven't seen it anywhere. But this is the Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I really like eye balms. I had one from um, Physician's Formula, the cucumber one. I think I mentioned it in a video. 
I gave that to my mom also because I felt like it was giving me those bumps, like those milia bumps. So let's see this one. First of all, it has this on top, like just to protect the, the product from the cap, I guess, but it looks kind of fun. Um, I did already put this on, like as soon as I opened my box, I just put this on directly because I was really um, enticed by the cooling part because I love to put like cool feeling things around my eyes because they can get like puffy and you know, just like a nice summer product. Um, yeah. It does feel really cooling. It's supposedly brightening also. And it says on the box that you can put under makeup and also reapply throughout the day, but I don't think anyone would reapply this if they have makeup on because it's going to disrupt your concealer if you're wearing any. But yeah, I did really like that I got this in the box. And then for concealer, this is a sample, um, but it's actually like a pretty good size because it was actually a, not a sample, but you know at Sephora when you have like promo codes, it was one of those, so it was free. It's the new Tarte C Hydro Sealer, which I found very intriguing. I love anything that's hydrating, obviously, because I have dry skin. Um, but this is in the shade 14B Fair Light Beige. I think it's my shade. It has vitamin B3, caffeine, algae, mineral pigments, and it's dermatologist tested, cruelty free and vegan. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm actually not going to put any foundation on today, but I do have something else that we'll, I'll show you in a minute. Did I show you guys this brush? I'm pretty sure I did. It's the number 57 brush from Sephora. It says Pro Air Brush for detail, um, but I think it was Jessica Braun that suggested this for concealer, and I always like how her blended out her concealer looks so i got it i'm pretty sure i got it on sale too and like t like pro tip always um wait for the sephora brushes to go on sale because they always do and they're pretty expensive otherwise so always uh, wait for a sale to get those but they are worth it because they're pretty like high quality and they're always like pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna put that much on for now and see how it looks. Why do I not have any lights on? Okay, I tried to turn my the light on for my mirror and it made me look like when you talk into like a flashlight and you tell a scary story. <laughs> so I turned it back off. Um, yeah, so I'll just do this and then I'll have to look at it more closely. So that like blended very easily. That is pretty bright, right? But I will just put a touch more just right here. I'm trying not to put as much concealer on because I find it just makes me look worse. I don't know like if I just haven't found the right one yet for my skin type but I'm not having the best luck with concealers lately. I think that that looks so white on camera. Hopefully it'll <laughs> blend out. I don't know it's kind of doing that thing that I like it just looks kind of creepy. I don't know if you can see. But I did put it on top of that eye balm, so maybe I didn't give it like the best shot. But that is a very light concealer for it being, what was it? Fair light beige. That is very light. Because I'm very light. And usually I'm concerned 
that even like the lightest shade of the concealer is gonna be too dark, but this is definitely light. I don't know, it looks okay, but it's not full coverage, which I don't mind myself, but if you're looking for a full coverage concealer, I don't think you'll like this one. I'm just gonna do a bit of spot concealing, but very lightly because I don't actually want to highlight my spots, like I want to cover them. Usually I would do this with a shade that matches my skin better, but for the sake of trying out this concealer. It looks good from far away, but when I look at it closely, I'm not sure. I'll have to try it out some more. I'm also very hot right now and sweaty, so I don't know. So the thing I'm saying that I'm going to put on my face is another sample. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. I think this is all the shades that they have, which there's only seven, but this isn't a foundation. I'm actually not really sure what this is because every time I watch like a YouTube video, um, the person is using it differently. Like, I know some people use this, like, as their base. Other people use it, like, just to highlight. Some people use it, like, on top of their makeup. Some use it under. So, I have no idea. But I'm just gonna use this everywhere and see what it does. Because I actually wanted to buy this in the full size at one point. But I think... I think... My shade was sold out, and it was the VIP sale, so then it, when it wasn't on sale anymore, I was like, forget it. Then I saw there was a sample, so I was like, well, I'll just try it. Um, it looks like fair might be very fair. This says um, that it's a flawless filter for the best looking skin of your life, enriched with lamellar filler which acts like a digitally enhanced filter for your skin. It soft focuses, perfects, and illuminates for a dewy, flawless, superstar youth glow. So yeah, what is it? We still don't know. And there's not a lot in this sample. So... Oh, yeah. The f okay, that's the light one, which looks very light. So I'm going to put it like in the places I would highlight normally. I don't know. Do we see anything? It is making me very glowy. Right? Like, <laughs> what's happening here? I think that's a combination of the concealer and this product. Just for the sake of it, and because there wasn't enough product, I'm going to put the light color on too. So that one was number one, fair, and this is number two, light. Like, they're very stingy with these samples. That's how much I got and like whatever's on here. Yeah, I think light is a better shade. Not that it makes that much difference, but just that the other one, like, you could really see it on my skin, you know? And this isn't, like, supposed to be a concealer or anything, so you'd want to get the one that matches your skin tone the best. I feel like that did give me, like, some sort of coverage, right? Kind of like a tinted moisturizer would. But I am extremely glowy right now. And I'm gonna need to find my sponge because I just wanna like go over it with the sponge. Whenever I use a brush, that's what I like to do. Just in case there's any like streaks or anything. So I'm gonna have to find it because I don't know where it went. 
Okay, so I found it. It was on the floor. <laughs> and yes, I washed it. For bronzer, I'm just going to use my Pure uh, Mineral Glow. Um, I do have new bronzer, but I'm saving it for another video, which hopefully you'll see soon. I'm going to use my Eco Tools powder brush. I feel like everything is sticking to my face. I kind of like that flawless filter. Like, my skin does look very glowy. I don't know if it's a superstar youth glow, but it's nice. And yeah, the light one I think is definitely too light. Like, I think you can see here, like, it's not um, my skin tone, at least not right now. So for blush, I actually have a few options. The first one, this is pretty exciting. Um, it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush, you know, these kind of ones. And I got this in, um, at, I got this at the Boxy Pop-Up, and it's a full size of the Hourglass Blush in the shade Dim Infusion. So this was actually on my Sephora love list, which is where like I put things that I want to buy. I don't actually use it like for saving things that I love. Um, and this is very expensive, but I think I paid like, I don't remember. <laughs> if I can find out how much I paid for this, I'll put it in the description box because I don't remember, but it was very cheap like compared to how much it actually costs um but just like a warning if you are gonna order from the boxy pop-up first of all it's like only i wanted to say like two times a year but it might even be more often than that i'm not sure but if you do order from there i feel like it comes from a different warehouse and when i got my package i had gotten this um i got one of the past boxes like for a cheaper price and I had got the Laura Geller um, highlighter in baked gelato is that what it's called like the very popular one that everyone has um, and that came like all smashed and the packaging was all busted and it took forever to get the product so yes you are saving a lot of money but the shipping is questionable but Anyway, I'm really happy I got this and that it wasn't broken because I would be very upset. But yeah, this is what that looks like. So these blushes have like a marbled effect and they're kind of like a sheen. I don't know if this is like what I want to put on today. It's, let me see. It's not like very bright. Like, you can barely see that, I think. It's kind of like a highlighter and a blush mixed together. Um, but the other thing I got, which is why I purchased one of the past boxes, is because I really wanted this. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. Just look at these colors. That is perfect for summer. It actually has a film on it and you can see it better like isn't that so pretty like this one especially um this one's called seclusion it's like a peach this is isla i think that's how you pronounce it isla i don't know and this one is toasted which would be really nice if i had more of a tan <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think for today, the lighting is getting so bad, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to do the seclusion one. Maybe I might mix it a bit with that. But let's, let's first see how it looks. And I don't want to go too heavy with the brush because uh, I didn't set my face, as you saw. So I'm going to use my Luxie Pro Pizz... Pro Precision Tapered Brush. 
that gives like a more light, uh, you know, application. Ooh, that's very powdery. These are very pigmented, it seems. Like a lot of color comes off on the brush and when I do that, you can see like it's quite powdery, which is fine. Like as long as you don't go in too heavy. I'm kind of just blending this like all across here. Um, I think I mentioned before, like I like to do this technique now where I just put the blush and sometimes bronzer like all across here. Um, I pretty much got that from Julia Adams MUA. If you haven't seen her videos, I would check them out. She's very talented. She does super nice eye looks and very like kind of natural glowy bases, which I really like. She calls this the wave technique because you know, it looks like a wave. So I really like that. Because it looks more natural, right? Like, when you actually get, um, there's fluff everywhere. When you actually get sun-kissed, you don't only get it, like, on the apples of your cheeks, right? So it makes more sense to put it everywhere. I do really like that. I didn't even put this one. I feel like I don't need to. Like, it kind of gave me enough color already, so that's good for me. Should I put some of this? I'm just very curious. I think I had a sample of this before, and that's why it was on my loves list, but also because, like, a lot of people talk about these. But I'm gonna put this more like where I would put my highlighter, which is higher on the cheekbone here. And the idea with these hourglass blushes is they're supposed to like catch the light a certain way, and that's where they give off more of the effect, which is why people say like when you swatch these, you don't really get the hype because you're like, that looks like chalky and weird, but it's because it has like reflective properties because there's like dim infusion, light infusion um, yeah, so that's the idea behind that I don't know if that did anything, maybe but then again, everything I put on my face today was glowy so I'm not even sure what's doing what anymore so for the eyes I don't know what I want to do I got a new palette in my BoxyCharm. It's the Zoeva, Zo Zoeva? Zoeva Caramel Melange. Um, I always was very intrigued by this palette and this brand. I've never tried anything else from them. So I was really happy I got this one because um, in the box they were doing like different variations. But this one was the one I really actually wanted, so I lucked out again. This, these are the colors, so it's nothing like super unique. It's very neutral. These shades here, they're more like cool toned shades, but you do have like some warm in this one too. So it's kind of a mixture. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. So I think I'm going to use this for getting like a base down and then I'll show you what else I got. Oh, I did also get a brush set. Should I use this? Yeah, I did want to use something. Um, so this is the brush set I got in my Boxy Lux. I'm getting so many brushes from BoxyCharm, it's crazy. Like I will never need to buy another brush myself. Um, this is by Billion Dollar Brushes. I think this brand also makes brow products, don't they? And they, they're called Billion Dollar Brows, I'm pretty sure. But this is the brushes. It's a charcoal brush set. Um, so it has charcoal infused bristles. Um, I've seen that before at Sephora too. I don't really know what that's supposed to do, but anyway, they're charcoal infused and vegan. Apparently, oh, the charcoal charcoal is for an antimicrobial effect. 
So I think there's two eye brushes in here. Yeah, there's two eye brushes like this. And the other one is like a concealer brush they're saying. But I use these for eyeshadow too sometimes. Like especially with very like silicone shimmer shades that you need to like pack and like swipe on. Um, but I really like this. Well, I like the look of this brush. I haven't tried it yet. They're calling this a highlighter brush. To me, this is a crease brush just because of the shape and that it fits like really good in the crease. So I wanted to use that today. Well, first I want to put down a cream shade like I always do. And I really like that this palette has um, this cream matte shade because I'm sure if you guys watch my other videos, you already know. I always put I always put down a base like this just to like set any cream product that I put on my eye. I did put a bit of that Tarte concealer. And also, I just feel like it helps blend everything else on top. There's no mirror in this palette, by the way, which is the only thing that I wish there was right now. But yeah, that's pretty pigmented for that kind of color. Sometimes those shades, it's like they might as well have not put it in the palette because they just like blend away or they're like so opaque. But this one actually does give a nice brightening effect on my skin tone anyway. Um, and then I do also like that there's this um, light kind of tan shade. It's called Universal Delight because I like to put those shades in my crease. Like this. Because I haven't worn an eyeshadow like since my last video if that tells you anything. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know why I chose this day of all days to film when there's like, it's gray outside and raining and thundering. <laughs> Cause I feel like it's creating all kinds of shadows on my face and you can't even see what I'm doing. But, oh <sighs> well. Okay, let me just show you what else I got before I keep going. Cause like, I also really like this color, but I don't want to go crazy because I also got this palette here and like, I don't know guys, if you're following like anyone makeup related on Twitter, I'm sure you've seen like this whole ABH drama. But I bought this before all of that <laughs> and I really like how it looks. It's super cute and um, this was on sale. It's still on sale actually. I think all this, the mini ones are. This is the Norvina uh, Pro, Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. So there's a 1 and a 3. But this one caught my eye the most. I love this like imagery and the colors are just super fun and unique to my collection I feel like especially in this color story so I did get this and then like right after all the stuff went down so I mean I don't like to talk about drama on this channel this is like a place for me to just have fun but I feel like I don't know like if I'll keep buying stuff from ABH unless I see something change because there's just really weird stuff going on. Like they're not paying people that they said they would, like influencers and I just don't like anyone, like any brand anyway, especially taking advantage of people. I just feel like that's very weird and especially considering like ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills is like a huge brand and they have been forever like even when I didn't wear makeup I knew about who they were 
And now that like Norvina has her own collection, it seems like everything's going downhill. Norvina is um, the daughter of Anastasia, by the way. But anyway, I'm not the best person to like talk about this, so if you actually care, you can like Google it or whatever. But yeah, just to let you know, I don't know if I'm like fully supporting this brand right now, but you guys know like ABH has one of my favorite eyeshadow um, formulas, and I think, yeah, they're probably the brand that I own the most product of, like in eyeshadow palettes especially. So I'm not gonna like not use them, but just know like I don't support how they've been acting. Let's just say that. But anyway, I do want to use this today because I just feel like it's very summery and fun. There's actually only two shimmery shades in this whole palette. So everything is matte except this shade here and this like glittery shade. So I really like that too because I like their matte shades. Their matte shadows anyway. But let me just think what I want to do here because I think I want to put this orange and it matches my shirt kind of. So I'm going to pack it on with this also from the Billion Dollar Brows set. Eyeshadow brush, that's what it is. So yes, very pigmented already I can see. This is probably a palette that you should do your eyes before your base because <laughs> it's all like very bright pigmented shadows but I didn't think about that so I'm kind of like packing it on first and then blending because uh, like I've said already it's very pigmented and I don't want it to like go everywhere I really like this already you guys know like I love orange right at least orange makeup I don't really wear orange clothes. This maybe looks orange on camera, but it's like red, so anyway. I just really like um, orange with green eyes. And I'm gonna go back in with this more fluffy brush just to blend the edges. I think I will go in with this shade like on the outer corner. I can't even really tell what kind of shade this is. It's like um, browny red kind of shade. I feel like it looks purple on camera, but it's not purple. It's definitely more like brown. So I'm gonna put that on the outer V just to add some depth with this Luxie Mini Tapered Brush brush. I don't want to get it too like blown out so I'm really like focusing like directly in the crease and for the lid shade I know I'm using like all kinds of products but it's really just to get use out of them um so yeah <laughs> um I did get these in a boxy charm they're very pretty looking. They're by Ace Beauté or Ace Beauté, however you want to say it. They're the Glimmer Shadows. So this one is in the shade Cotton Candy. And these are obviously trying to be like the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Like even the indentation and the packaging looks pretty much the same, I think. Um, so this is the shade Cotton Candy. And this is the shade Iced Latte, which is like a really pretty bronzy taupe shade. So um, I have those, but I also got another product during this sale that I've been wanting for a long time. It's the Touch and Soul Metalist Sparkling Foil Pigment. This is the packaging. I got the shade Sun Aurora on the Sephora website. It says like this has a green apple shift. So this looks so pretty. And you have to be careful because um, 
I think it it's kind of like one of those shades where it's actually like kind of loose so it does have like one of those um, plastic things that you're supposed to keep on top um, but I definitely think now that I'm looking at this that I really need to put this on my lid can I think you can see on camera even the shift it looks so fun I'm going to put this on with my finger, actually, and I'm just going to go like right over, but I won't bring it out to the corner. Oh my god. Hmm. <gasps> it's so pretty. Hmm. Oh, I love it. I'm going to do my brows off camera because it's boring and I have nothing new. And I will be back. Okay, I am back. Um, I just did my brows and I forgot that I didn't put any highlighter on. What am I doing? Uh, so, um, I've used my Flower Beauty highlighter. The one in the face trio. It's very intense, but anyway. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yes. Yeah. so I just want to finish the eyes. And I'm going to go back in with that brown or whatever kind of shade that was from the um, ABH Norvina palette. Just on the outer portion of the bottom, just a touch of that orange shade. To like blend it in, you know. It's really hard not to like go overboard with these shadows, um, but I don't think you would buy this palette anyway if you're like not into color and you just wanted a subtle look. Probably wouldn't buy any of the Norvina um, palettes because they're all pretty much colorful palettes. Um, and for the inner corner, I wanted something lighter. In this uh, Zoeva palette, the only like highlighty shade is this Almost Burnt. I think that might work. It's a bit dark, but I haven't done my makeup in so long that my brushes are dusty. <laughs> That's not good. It's kind of like a soft gold shade. And I'll just put a bit of that on my brow bone. Uh, by the way, I did have some fallout from that foiled shadow. I tried to wipe it away, but I kind of don't mind how it looks because it just kind of fell down here, which is like um, where I put shimmer anyway normally, but just so you know. Just to like clean anything up, I'm going back in with the first brush that I used. For my mascara, I've been using um, this combination. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I have the base and the like regular the mascara, but I got these in a pack. They came together, so I'm trying to get use out of them. I think I hauled these in a video. Um, I do like it. I feel like it can get a bit clumpy, so I need to try it without the the primer for like to give my full opinion but so far I do like it because it doesn't flake which is a problem I've been having with some of my mascaras um, and it doesn't smudge under my eye and I really like the shape of the brush it's basically a dupe for the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex mascara but I actually don't like that mascara. 
Well, I had a small like sample of it and I don't know if it's because it was like already dry when I opened it, but it flaked like all over the place. So I do like this one better and it's cheaper because it's L'Oreal. Yeah, it just depends on the day, it seems, if it's going to be clumpy or not. It looks fine right now, actually. Maybe it's because I sometimes put too much of the primer on. For lips, um, in case you guys didn't know, I love lip products. I have way too many right here. I actually got two new lip liners in my BoxyCharm. They're by Bodyography, so I'm probably going to use one of those. And I have all of these. So, where do I even begin? Well, I'll show you these two lip glosses that I got in past BoxyCharms. I got the Jouer High Pigment Lip Gloss with Coconut Oil in the shade Champ Elysee for Champs Elysees, for those of you who don't speak French. <laughs> um, it looks like this. There's nothing else written on this uh, bottle, so that looks really pretty. I heard good things about the Jouer lip products. Um, but I also got this one from Steve Laurent. It's in the shade Posh, and it actually looks extremely similar. But I did swatch them together, and this one's more like a brick red shade, whereas the Jouer one's more like a mauve tone. And I feel like this kind of is more like a liquid lipstick. Well, maybe not. But it's just a very pigmented gloss. Like that was like one swipe. So there's that. But I don't know if these are very like summery. And I feel like I want to do more bright looks today. Or bright shades. I might use one of these. This one is new. I got it at Sephora. Um, like the first time they reopened, I went into the store. Actually because I had to return something. Remember the Kathleen Lights um, trio of essential oils that I showed you in my last video? And how I got two of the same one in the three pack. So I actually was su successful in exchanging that. I was really happy they didn't give me any like um, trouble because I had bought it in January. <laughs> But they did exchange it for me, so now I have all three, and I really like them. But anyway, when I was there, I got this at the cash. Um, it's the Sephora Jelly Melt in the shade Tango. So this is a very interesting product. It's like this. It's like a lip oil and a lip stain, like, mixed together. It's very interesting. Um, but I also went to see the new Fenty lipsticks. The Slip Shine, yeah, Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. I got this one in the shade Tang Thang, Tang Thang. Um, if you can tell, <laughs> there's like a theme in the colors that I like for my lips, at least in the summer. So, I did already use this and I'm not sure if it's my favorite. First of all, it smells like something. I don't know what. It kind of smells like a drugstore lipstick, you know, like that plasticky smell, but they try to cover it with something that smells good. It's kind of smelling like that. And also, it's very thick the texture of this, um, so I don't know if it's my favorite, but I, I only used it once, so I'll have to keep trying this out. These are very similar colors, actually, so I think I'll just use this again today, 
so I can get a better opinion. It feels like a lip balm and it is sheer like it says but I don't know about the texture. It feels very thick on the lips but the colors are nice, right? So that's the shade Tang Thang. Ugh, I'm kind of rushing because my battery's gonna die. I got this at Walmart because it just like intrigued me. It's a new um, hard candy. Did I show you this already? I don't even remember. Um, it's the Toner and Refresher in Rose Drench. It's hyaluronic acid and rose water. It helps hydrate and plump. It's kind of like you can use it as a primer and a finishing spray. And it has Marilyn Monroe on it, which is like what I thought was super cute about it. So let's use this. Now this isn't something that will make your makeup last longer. Um, so if you we're going out like in the summer heat with a very glowy face like this. Probably not the best one, but I just wanted to feel like something more refreshing, which is what this says it does. And I do like the smell. I was worried like sometimes with like drugstore products that they say are rose scented. It's like really rose, like gross, but this isn't that bad at all. I actually really kind of like it so I think that's it I was gonna like fix my hair but I don't have time so you're just gonna have to deal with this but um yeah I kind of like how this turned out I like that Charlotte Tilbury product because when I look at my face up close it's like it looks really smooth and not patchy and it didn't like accentuate my pores or anything but I did also put it on top of that primer which is supposed to be like pore refining so maybe that actually did something because it looks pretty good the concealer looks really good it ended up like absorbing really well and it's not doing any weird creasing or anything so that's promising and I really like how the eyeshadow looks. I know this is very similar to what I do often, but it's just what I like. And yeah, the lipstick, I don't know, might be a miss for me, which is weird because I usually love all Fenty products, but yeah, I don't know. It's like you can taste that fake I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, if you try these, let me know. Maybe I got like a weird one or something, but I do really like the color of it. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for today. I hope you like this video. I know it's been a while. Um, but yeah, if you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.